What do you draw upon to be a successful musician? <laughs> when making a work of art, one must always assume the utmost professionalism. The pursuit of perfection is what drives the music forward. It takes dedication, patience, and attention to detail above all else. My name's Colin. I play bass guitar. Yeah, let's go! I just play what Charlie tells me to play. Describe the transition you made in your vocal style from more of a <laughs> to more of a <laughs> sound. I listened to a lot of Six Feet Under and Hatebreed, which were kind of different types of bands back then. I saw my own voice being like right in the middle. You know, like it's the Hatebreed, he's like just kind of yelling. And then the 1600 guy, he's just like growling. My name's Charlie, and I do everything. Iron Crew is the latest in a long series of band progressions that I have been musically involved with. Colin, Peter, and Brian were in this biotech class and they had to make a song about steroids. Well, they didn't have to make a song and it didn't have to be about steroids, but they wanted it to. And it's going to be a metal song because Colin is in it. But I was in the class, but I like, uh, well, I like making songs, so I, I made the song for them. I wrote the song and then I, I wrote the lyrics and then I, I helped record them with Charlie. Charlie helped me record those. And we had Peter. Uh, he was, yeah, nothing of his ended up on the song. Literally, absolutely nothing. But he had some ideas. Brian did do some violin. After we recorded everything and finished the whole song, he came in and did some random violin parts. Yeah, that was not a good start. A few months later, some guy was like, Hello, Charlie, would you be interested in performing a concert at Studio 7? I was like, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. He was like, really? I'm like, yeah, I, I, I got a band. It's all good. And I called up Colin and I was like, um, we, we, we have a show. He's like, yeah! And I was like, <laughs> and uh, so Peter, you know, he, he can't do anything. And Brian, he's really good at violin, but I couldn't really just put him in every song. So then, I had to find a bassist and a drummer. Colin never really played bass, so we were just gonna put on lead vocals. And I know two Kyles from the same general area, and one of them plays bass, and one of them doesn't. Well, the one that doesn't was online, and I was like, hey, do you want to learn how to play bass and play at our show? He's like, yeah, yeah, I can do that. So, so he was our bassist. And then Colin and I were at Vertical World, and he said something about a drummer, and then someone else who was there, JD, he was like, I play drums, so I, uh, I spilled some soda. And then I went over to him, and I was like, okay, you're, you're going to play drums. So yeah, we played our show. It was pretty bad. First time we ever got out on stage, and we just killed it. Now, that's a very interesting question, because it doesn't really make any sense, does it? No, 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 it doesn't. I wondered that myself at times. But then I remember what it was like back then. You really have to set your mind in the time period in which this took place. Colin liked music, so he was like, hey, I should meet a band. And I remember this is back in like, I don't know, ninth grade or so. So he was like, I'm, I'm going to be in a band. Somehow I ended up being called Iron Agency. Uh, we never did anything. We wrote anything. So that was just Colin and Brian. But Peter and I, meanwhile, formed Cannibal Krill, which was a similarly inactive band named after some shrimp that we had in our biology classroom. 
because they started eating each other. They were definitely cruel. Uh, we got into some huge debates about it. But, you know, cannibal is with a K, right? And cruel is with a K. So it had to be cannibal cruel. After cannibal corpse. Yeah. We took Peter and Charlie from Cannibal Krill and Brian and me from Iron Agency and so we made it Iron Krill. Cannibal Agency didn't seem like a good name for a school project. It's become interesting seeing how the band name has been interpreted throughout the ages. Uh, at our show at Studio 7, it was like a metal show, there were like 10 metal bands there. The person reading off the names thought that it was a typo or something, so he was like, please welcome Iron Kill. We're like, no, 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 it's, it's Krill, like, like K-R-I-L-L, -L. you know, like the little Z things. The guy's just like, the, you're, you're like a metal band, right? And we also briefly considered changing to Iron Grill with a G, because grills are metal. So that's two kinds of metal. But we stuck with Krill. Ian, are you excited for our well, crew? No, not really, but wait, no, should I say yes? It's recording. Are you guys pumped for Iron Krill? No, Megan, come on. Come on, I need this. I'll, I'll give you a monster. Is that okay? Okay, two monsters, yeah. What kind do you want? You want it to come from shears. You're so damn good at guitar and can't see a note. Testing, 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 testing lows. <laughs> testing mid. <laughs> testing highs. Essentially, like a pit of females. <laughs> a ring of males surrounding, uh, preferably on some sort of like balcony, you know, so it's like pointing down at the females on the bottom. <laughs> the problem with fishy style though is it gets sort of awkward after the fertilization occurs because then all these guys are like, oh, hey. How's it going, guys? This is now! Okay, was it August 28th, August 23rd, August 15th? God damn it, why don't you just rename it? Megan, I need you. No, no, just for the singing parts. understand what the band is all about, where we come from, what you should expect listening to the tracks, why we do this for you.